Hi, in this video lecture, we're going to learn about a C library function called as strchr. The strchr function basically takes two arguments. The first argument is a pointer to a character and the second argument is in C. Let's look at the description of this. It says that the strchr function returns a pointer to the first occurrence of the character C. The character C is basically the second argument what you pass. In the string, yes, yes is the first argument, right? The first argument will be the string and the second argument will be the character what you want to look out in that particular string. And it returns the pointer to the first occurrence of the character. And what happens if the character is not present? In that particular case, it basically returns null. You can just see out here the function returns a pointer to the match character or null if the character is not found. Now let's try to look into the implementation of this. Here, I have declared a variable called as data and the data in that is Sikandar. Now, I'd like to search for a character called as a. So we can also say character key equal to the character A. I want to search for this. str, chr. The first argument will be the string. Second argument is the character what you want to search for. So what does it return? It basically returns a pointer, character pointer. Now I just try to receive this into a pointer variable. Now let's try to visualize this and try to understand what will it return. Okay. So I'm trying to visualize this. The program starts from the main function and line number five will basically initialize the string. This is the data. And you can also have a look at the memory addresses. Here, the memory address for the first character is BCF, then, then BD0, BD1, BD2, BD3, that particular one, right? And I know that the character A is present at location BD2. Okay. Now I'm initializing the key character. Remember, key is a character variable whose address is BBF, right? And I also have this key character in the string at index 3 and the address of that is BD2. So when I try to use this strchr, passing the string and the character, it returns a pointer to the first occurrence. Also observe, A is present twice. Here, at address BD2, index 3, as well as address BD5 at index 6. What does STRCHR returns? Pointer to the first occurrence. So you can just observe, it returned BD2. Fine. Now, once you get this particular address, you can calculate the index. Like, given this address BD2, if you want to know the index, you just need to subtract from the base address, you will get the index. Or if you want to print the characters from that particular point onwards, we can just use this pointer and then use percentage yes format specified to print the string. So let's try to edit this particular code. So you wanted to know the index. So here I'll say index, okay, equal to the pointer minus the base address. This is my index. So I'll just try to say character at index percentage D and your index variable. But if you want to print the remaining part of the string from the point where exactly you have found till the end, I can just try to write PTR equal to percentage. If you want to print the pointer, we can use okay percentage P. If you want to print the string, we can use percentage yes. I'm trying to use PTR again PTR. The first PTR is going to print the address because I'm using percentage P. And second one, it's going to print the string from that particular point till the end of the string. Now, let's try to run this code. And let's try to visualize this again. The initial portion will again, see every time you run the code, you might get a different, different addresses. So we have, okay, you need to observe this and then, okay, check it out, right? So here you can just observe it is BCF is a base address and BD2 is the address where we basically have character A. So I'm trying to execute this and you can just responding to this and index is BD2 minus BCF 
that basically gave me the index 3. So I'm trying to print that. And after that, I want to print the string. The address, the first portion is going to give me BD2. And the second portion, it's going to print the string from this point onwards till the end. So you can just observe the output out here. So it gave me the address BD2. And you can just see A and DAR and the index 3. But this is when the key character is present. But what happens if the key character is not present? Like, for example, I would like to search for the character E. I don't have E in this. In that particular case, as we have seen in the uh, man page, it basically returns null. So you can just observe. It returns null. And here, this statement is meaningless. 0 minus the base address, this is meaningless. Okay, it will not be an error, but you can just observe you have 0 minus the base address. Okay, whenever you want to perform the subtraction of two pointers, both the pointers should be called the same array, but one pointer is null here, one pointer is the base address, so it is meaningless. Okay, so it's going to print this index, and every time you run it, you will get different, different addresses, so we cannot guarantee what will be that. And the next portion is like, even if you try to print with percentage P, it's going to print zero. But printing with percentage yes will basically give me a runtime error. It's called a segmentation fault. Fine. That it can give you a problem out there. Okay. Now, you want to do this only in case if you have found, the character is found. Right. So to do that, we'll basically check if the pointer is not equal to null. I want to do all these operations. And in case if the pointer is null, I would like to just say that key character not found. Character not present. Otherwise, I'd like to do this. And as soon as you create a new block, please make sure that you do the indentation immediately. Right? Now, I'm trying to execute the entire program at once. So, the Line number 8 will return me null and line number 9, the condition is true. It's just going to execute the statement key character not present. And you can just see out here key character is not present. And then I'll try to rerun this by placing the character A. I have multiple occurrences of A, but it basically gives me the pointer to the first occurrence. Here it gives me the pointer to the first occurrence. Okay. But let us say if you want to find the uh, pointer to the last one, like you wanted to know uh, what is the index of the last occurrence of the particular character. So in that particular case, so instead of using strchr, we can use strrchr, this one. It again takes two arguments, it returns a pointer. So what is the functionality? strchr function strrchr function returns a pointer to the last occurrence of the character c. Okay. So here, if I just try to write strrchr and I'm looking out for ea itself, if I try to run this, I'll try to go step by step here. ea is present, but please do observe it is not pointing the first occurrence of ea, it is pointing the last occurrence of A, or you can also say if you move from last to first, the first occurrence moving from right to left. Okay. So if I try to print the string, it's going to print AR. If I try to print the address, it's going to print BD5. And if you try to see the index, this BD5 minus BCF, it will be 6. So let's try to execute this. So I hope the concept is clear. Fine. Thank you.